Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about the body mount system I created for the SMT-10 Mush Truck. You guys have been asking about it, I'm going to leave a link down in the description so you can pick it up and print it out yourself. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, as you can see, there's no body posts sticking up. I created a body mount system that streamlines the truck, makes it look nice and pretty. That way, if you have a, a chef queen or a competition truck, you can have it looking very, very nice with those ugly, ugly body posts sticking up through the hood. It's super easy to operate. You just stick your hands up underneath here, pull these two little pegs out, and the body just comes right on off. To put the body back on, it's really easy. You just clip the front on there and just let it fall into place. And as you can see, the pegs go in all by themselves. Well, that one didn't, but usually they snap in all by themselves and it's just on there that easy. And it's, it's on there pretty good too. So it's as strong, it stays as strong as the, uh, whatever Velcro or tape you use to put the body mounts onto the body with. The whole thing is only like seven pieces. You got this piece that sits up here on the front. You've got this piece and that piece. You have the two little pegs that go in and out right there. You've got the front piece that goes onto the body. And then you have the rear piece that goes on the rear. When you print the pieces out, this piece right here, uh, this is a face that goes to the print bed. On these, I print these with uh, this side right here, facing the print bed, so that you know this interior will be full of supports. And for this, the side that mounts to the body goes toward the print bed, and the rear piece, it prints like this. So this side goes to the print bed. And of course, I print these standing straight up. I tried printing them like this, and uh, they don't always come out very round. And if they're not very round, they won't fit through the holes properly. There are lots of magnets in this thing. So uh, like these are these magnets right here. I got these at Home Depot. And these are, what, 9.53 millimeters. And these are the ones I use for the pegs. And they are inside of there also you put one inside there and you put another on here and if you have a trouble you have any trouble with these sticking just i guess super glue them or you can hot glue gun them on there use some kind of adhesive and for the ones that are inside i use magnets magnets <laughs> like this they're eight millimeter so the eight millimeter magnets are the ones you need to go inside of here and inside of this piece right here Basically, the way it works, this piece doesn't have magnets in it, but the Velcro or the adhesive tape or whatever you use to stick this to the body is going to hold the magnets inside of this piece right here. So there are magnets inside of there. You can use as many as you like. I got, I think I have six, uh, six or eight holes for magnets. I can't remember exactly how many. Inside of here, there's a piece of tape. I don't know if you can see it. I just got a piece of duct tape that holds the magnets inside of there. So whenever the body comes down on top of that, the magnets come together. Instead of using like Velcro or those strips or whatever, I had thought about using these. I wasn't sure exactly how well it was gonna work with this body and everything, so I didn't wanna make it permanent. But now that I know they actually work, I'd probably use these rather than the uh, those Velcro strips. That way these pieces don't come off but make sure that's what you want because <laughs> i'm pretty sure once you stick this on with one of these it is going to stay there pretty well the mount up front is held on by two screws that go inside of here and i actually put a third hole in there so you can put three if you want these are 15 millimeter socket screws and the rear mounts are held on by 25 millimeter screws that's how long they are and i got locking nuts right there so they don't come off and these are three millimeter uh diameter so the front and the rear have three diameter three i'm sorry three millimeter diameter screws the front mount once you take all the screws out of it comes up like that and as you can see these are actually the body mount posts that come on the SMT-10. So what I've done is I've taken 
the top of it and I just sheared that little bit off of it then I take these and I push them down inside of that section right there because when you 3d print stuff like this it doesn't it's not very strong it doesn't work very well so what I did was I uh, I just used the ones that came with it and there you can see the, the three holes that screws go in and this tape is covering up the magnets and there are there are six six magnets in there and that little lip holds in there just like that now to me the most difficult part was getting the body centered on those mounts so what you do is you install the mounts and then the way that I did it you know since I cut this out and I did a lot of measuring to cut this out you know as equally as I could that kind of you know uh, that was kind of in the right spot I uh, I lined up the center of the hood with that piece right inside there that's the piece that's in the center and you can look up underneath there there's a little bit of a gap between the frame and the bumper I did that on purpose I kind of eyeballed where I wanted the whole thing to sit at and I had to make sure this is going to clear and sit in the right spot but yeah so what I did was I uh I, I kind of got a feel for where I wanted it to be at then I I took the body off I took the sticky side off of the uh, velcro on this I stick it to the mount first and I uh, undo the uh, the protective cover so that you can stick it to the body I put the rear down and then I I line up the front and then I lower the front onto the sticky you know and <laughs> try to get it straight as possible and then once that is on it makes it much easier to do the rear once I have the front done I just take the body off I undo the you know uncover the sticky side of the velcro and then i put the body back on line up the rear and just lower it down and that's how i got it straight now i don't actually know what all bodies this body mount system will work for i know it works this is the j concepts ford the extended cab i um it is the extended cab i actually cut the extended cab back and covered it with that racer back back there so normally you can see there's the crease for the door so the cab should be coming up here so that that is the extended cab i'm sure it works for that and the uh the chevy extended cab will probably also work uh, i don't know what other bodies will fit on this body mount system i imagine any of them that are similar or close to the j concepts uh 10th scale munch truck bodies i mean uh you can try it and see you know what works what doesn't let me know i believe i covered everything with the body mounts uh if you have any other questions leave them down in the comments below i'll be sure to come back and answer them i'm gonna get the battery in this thing i'm gonna drive it around and have some fun with it normally this is the battery that i run in it i know most people run a uh, 100c but uh that's just a 2s i'm actually gonna run the 3s in there today now you cannot run it very long at all on a 3s i mean like you have you can run for like a minute and then you gotta wait and let it cool down so uh you can't go out and have long bash sessions with either one of these really because uh, of the way the gearing and the motor and everything is this thing really gets hot and heats up a lot most people when they drive these things they're only driving for like uh two minutes in a the competition they don't really drive them around and, and bash them like uh you do other rcs so uh yeah i'm only gonna be driving it for you know 30 seconds to a minute at a time on this battery because it does get so hot and i don't want to tear anything up in it all right 3s baby and it's pretty quick isn't it it will do a willy <laughs> put that willy bar to use So that little bit it uh let's see it says it's just 98 degrees so not terribly hot so i'm gonna let it cool down and set up some ramps all right let's see
trying real hard not to wreck this thing. I'd be so heartbroken if it rolled over. through the grass some you can't do it a whole lot so that makes it really hot it's pretty cool to sit go through the grass like that we got lots of grass over here. I cut the lawn yesterday, so uh, let's see. I'm curious to know how much heat that generated in that little bit. Let's see. One twenty-four. So, one twenty-four is what I saw. So, that's almost too touch, too hot to touch. Not too terribly bad. I'm gonna let it cool off, and then we can run it some more. Got me a bit of a race course set up. Uh, these cones, you can buy them at Walmart. They're they're stupid cheap. They're like uh, soccer cones or whatever. Just go back to the sports section, and you'll find them. Uh, yeah, I got this jump set up right here you come over this got a bit of a straightaway then this jump turn another jump then we go through a little s turn right there come back around got another jump and we're back at the start again my goal here is to get around the track fast as i can without wrecking it <laughs> Two, one, go. Wow, that, that one lap took me like 30 minutes to film. <laughs> it takes like 30 seconds to run the course. And it took me like 30 minutes to set up the camera and, and take all the shots. And I had to do reshoot after reshoot because I just... You know, it's it's difficult to try to get everything perfect in frame and everything when I was trying. But I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun filming it. But anyways, guys, uh, I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Again, check down in the link in the description for the, uh, for the body mount system. Uh, send me pictures and videos of how you guys... Uh, uh, set your SMTs up. I want to see what you do with this body mount system. I want to see your beautiful, beautiful trucks without those ugly body posts sticking up through the hoods. But uh, yeah, I didn't know where I was going with that. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I will see you guys later.